So today we're going to talk about the difference in the slot design of T-slot aluminum framing. On the left here you see I have two different profiles of a Bosch style extrusion. I've got a 30 millimeter and then I've got a 40 millimeter. I have those same size profiles in a Kanye extrusion. I've got a 30 millimeter on the right and then I've got a 40 millimeter on the left. And if I put those two 40 millimeters together, those different sides, you say, well what's the difference? Aren't all these T-slot systems the same? In fact, the the external dimension of them, of course, is going to be 40 millimeters on each side. Whereas there's the difference is, if I take a look at the difference in the slot size between the two, if I put those two right together, um, you'll see that the slot on the Bosch style extrusion, which is this guy, is a little bit wider than on the Kanye style extrusion. In fact, that Bosch extrusion is a 10 millimeter slot and the Kanye is an 8 millimeter slot. Now, if I look at the 30 millimeter extrusions, and I compare the uh, Bosch style to the Kanye style, you see that that's got a narrower slot than the larger Bosch one. And it's the same size, actually, as the Kanye. Those both have 8 millimeter wide slots. And in fact, the difference between the two systems is that the Bosch style has a different slot size depending upon the size of the profile. A Bosch will have either a 6, 8, or 10 millimeter wide slot, whereas Kanye for all of their profiles all have an 8 millimeter wide slot. Now why does this make a difference? Well let's say I need to put a panel in or something like that. For the Bosch style extrusion, if I have a narrow panel, I can use the 30 millimeter extrusion and there's the Bosch and I could put in an 8 millimeter, wide, an 8 millimeter thick panel. Or I can reduce that using some reducing strip. And you see the reducing strip right there and that'll give me the different sizes on that. Uh, so I can reduce that down to say from an 8 millimeter down to a 4 or 3 millimeter thick panel. Um, for the Bosch size also if I want to put in a thicker panel, say a 10 millimeter thick panel, I use the larger extrusion because I have that larger slot size. So if I look at the Bosch 40 millimeter, see that's got that larger slot size so I could put a thicker panel. Kanye is a little bit different. Kanye, of course, they're both going to be 8 millimeter slots. So if I look at those two together, uh, if I want to reduce that, I'm going to use a, it's called a channel reducing strip from 8 millimeter down to either a 2 or 3 millimeter reducer or a 4 or 5 millimeter reducer. Um, if I need to cover those slots, let's go back to the Bosch extrusion. I use what's called a filler strip. And if I use the 30 millimeter filler strip, or for the 30 millimeter, you see that's a that's a narrower filler strip right there than it is for the Bosch, which is the wider filler strip. So I've got two different types of filler strips that I need to carry if I'm going to do that. For the Kanye extrusion, since it's both uh, an 8 millimeter slot, I just use the same filler strip. So you see here a classic engineering trade-off where on the Bosch side I have different slot sizes so I can customize my design a little bit more carefully if I need to, but the trade-off on that is it's more complex. On the Kanye side, I've got the same slot size, which gives me more flexibility, but I lose a little bit in terms of customization and I have to do some more with filler strips. Hope that helps, and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks.